After a European satellite last year discovered that the largest concentration of methane in the United States is located in the Four Corners, dozens of researchers descended on the region to determine the source of this greenhouse gas. It was a good opportunity to come back with some of the airborne sensors that we um, have and actually go and, and try to understand what we're seeing from space. Yeah, so globally, methane's real importance is uh, its impact on climate. So methane, it's uh, one carbon and four hydrogen atoms, so it's a pretty simple molecule. The primary reason of interest in it is that it absorbs pretty strongly into the infrared range of the spectrum. This means that when you put more of it into the atmosphere, it acts as a greenhouse gas, which leads to warmer surface temperatures. The reason we discuss methane so much is because the specific window in the infrared where it's active is slightly different from carbon dioxide. If you emit a pound of methane, it's equivalent to emitting many more pounds of CO2. With the heavy presence of oil and gas operations in the area, scientists are naturally curious whether those activities are a factor. And what this allows us to do is come in at lower altitude and actually map with much finer spatial resolution the concentrations of methane across the sensor field of view. But those in the industry point to the natural makeup of the land, which also could be responsible for the remarkable seepage. That there are uh, man-made, so-called anthropogenic public, uh, sources uh, present in the Four Corners area, but there is also an abundance of natural sources. And some people consider this to be a real opportunity because reducing methane emissions could potentially help very in the very short term. And so the reduction of emissions will have an impact more quickly. Methane emissions directly into the atmosphere are not really a benefit to anybody. This study is going to help understand better and describe the, uh, the reasons why we're seeing that satellite signal.